Hey y'all, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a power burn. So as you can see, my candles are lit and ready. So I'm going to be inserting a time lapse and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm trying to figure out if these are the right size wigs or if I even like these wigs for the containers. And as you can see, you know, this one is not doing that well. Um, my wigs are not even touching all of the sides of this jar. So definitely going to have to wake up. This one just started, but so far it's a steady fire. So let's see how it turns out. This one, I still can't tell. I think this might be a too big of a wig, but let me know what y'all think in the comments because I'm still trying to figure this out. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this power burn. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see earlier, I know I said that I might have to wake up. As you can see, as it's been burning, I think it's been burning about two and a half hours now. The wax is starting to melt towards the sides of the jar, but not quite all the way. So I don't know. I still might have to wake up, but so far it's looking good. Um, over here, I think I might have to wick down because this wick is mushrooming the size of the flame is actually really big compared to here as you see and this one just completely gave out um probably because as you can see right there i didn't trim it before i lit it again and as you can see i have sinkholes <laughs> so this just probably wasn't a quality candle in general but this wig blew out because the flame became too small and as you can see, the wick is curved, so probably because I didn't trim it. But so far, these are still burning smooth, and we'll see how it turns out. Check my chest, my breath right quick. He ain't never seen it in a dress like this. Uh, he ain't never even been impressed like this. Probably why I got him wide on the set like this. Like it, love it, need it, bad. Take it, own it, steal it, fast. Boy, stop playing, grab my ass. I'm not too shy. Shut it, save it, keep it. Push it while you beating. Run the bush and knowing you want all this fun. I can't take you die. Uh, all of them bitches hating, I have you with me. All of my niggas saying you had committed. Really than anybody you had them ready. So, as you can see, this candle right here has a large melt pool. And I, like I said before, I really think this is too big of a wick. Um, it's normal to have a melt pool after how many hours? It's been about three hours probably. And it's normal to have a melt pool. It's not a bad melt pool, but you can just tell that the wick is mushrooming at the top pretty bad and this flame is huge for this small of a container and over here as you can see all sides are melted all sides are melted and we're looking good i thought that this wick would be these wicks would be too small but they actually look pretty perfect so for this container probably gonna keep these size wicks um i don't really like eco wicks though so I don't know. I might have to think about it. But over here, this wig is definitely too big. And it's mushrooming. It is mushrooming. Pretty, pretty bad. And this flame should not be this big. This flame is huge for this container. Just compare. Just compare. Why is the container with the small, the small container flame bigger than the container with the big container? <laughs> Tell me why. Why is the flame so big in the smaller container? container than the big container so yeah probably gonna end this here because i think i have my results this wick is not good for this container so 
I'm gonna blow out the candles and thank you guys for watching. Comment below if you have any other suggestions on some other wigs that I might try. This is an Eco 8 and this is a CD 14. I should have known this was bigger. I think a CD 10, maybe even a CD 8 might be perfect for this. And over here, we're still out. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye.